Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. Right around 2003, the United States went through a bandwidth revolution, and suddenly it got cheaper to use bandwidth. However, in the IT space, most solutions and vendors still carefully designed their solutions to closely guard their bandwidth. However, some organizations were already embracing this newfound bandwidth, like Salesforce.com. In their toe, other disruptive vendors began chipping at the heels of once very established business models. This has been going on for more than a decade now, and the cloudification trend is now penetrating some of the most traditional IT practices. One of these IT practices that have held back adopting cloud replacement is data integration and analytics. Today I'm going to share what the restraining forces have been in keeping the IT practices from adopting cloud-based integration and analytic architectures. But then we'll share what some of the driving forces are and how they are turning managed IT on its head. So the first problem with cloudified architectures is with the very nature of what data integration involves. See, unlike Salesforce.com, which is saving and dishing up single records at a time, data integration seeks to move and process millions and billions of records at a time. So even though bandwidth is plentiful, data integration could quickly gobble it up. The second problem has been the on-premise history of most applications. If your data resides behind your firewall, it makes little sense to have that raw data shipped into the cloud to do the data processing. Yes, bandwidth is cheap, but you have to take into account the time cost of moving large quantities of raw data to the cloud. As a rule of thumb, you want to process the data where it lives to avoid bottlenecks. And if you have to move data, only ship the process data and not the raw stuff. The other issue that comes up with any web-based application has to do with network uptime. See, corporate networks expect a mostly constant uptime within their firewall. The web, however, has a very erratic uptime. You can experience a hiccup for just a few seconds on a fairly regular basis. So systems that are moving and processing millions of records have to be very tolerant to these consistent hiccups. These barriers also created a vacuum because few vendors even existed that could support a modern data warehouse in the cloud. There were plenty of private cloud methods, but this just means that the same stuff you would buy on premise is being thrown into a rented server rack without the software as a service benefits. A true multi-party software as a service data warehouse was still a very raw idea. It turns out that the same is true for business intelligence. There just weren't effective solutions available for dealing with the fact that data queries would happen with the quirks of an internet-based source. Last but not least, data integration is a complex beast, and most organizations don't even want to touch it unless they have to. Intricity has seen many organizations that literally don't even know what their integration platforms are doing. And as long as these systems keep working, there's no need to meddle. So we've covered some of the restraining forces which have been in the way of organizations adopting cloudified integration and analytic architectures. Now, I want to share some of the driving forces. First, there are now approaches for processing data on a more real-time basis through streaming JSON and REST, which make the prospect of moving records over the internet far more feasible. Rather than moving big swaths of data all at once, I can stream small swaths throughout the day. Additionally, the role of data compression can't be underestimated here. It's been a huge catalyst for enabling cloud data movement to occur. Second, the nimble competition has a cloud-first strategy. This means that smaller companies often don't don't even have an on-premise application. This competitive advantage is driving some of the old behemoths to reconsider their hardline stance against architecting solutions in the cloud. Additionally, some ETL vendors are delivering the capacity to control where data processing occurs, so if data is on-premise, it can get processed there. But if the data is in the cloud, it can be processed there as well. So if you're on-premise and moving data to the cloud, you'll only push the smaller processed data set. Third, Dealing with the internet's erratic nature is really something that needs to be part of a ground-up solution designed for the web. Tracking a hiccup in the data requires tracing where processing left off and redundancy to restart the request from that point. There are now both cloud ETL and BI vendors that have those capabilities out of the box. Fourth, an actual data warehouse in the cloud which follows a true multi-party software as a service is now a reality. Not only do those environments exist, they are replacing old on-premise data warehousing appliances. More importantly, they are instantly scalable. So rather than scaling with an additional multi-million dollar forklifted server, you can just scale up and down on demand. 
Fifth, data integration is one of those final frontiers for enabling a completely cloud-based IT landscape. But here's where I'm predicting a real market shift. Over the last decade, IT organizations have been outsourcing their IT to manage service contracts. No company does this because they get better IT service. This is purely a specialization and cost issue. By pushing the management of databases, servers, and applications to a third party, they can have somebody else deal with the uptime issues. However, cloudification of the IT landscape is going to open a window to IT organizations that want to reconsider their outsourcing model. This is because menial tasks of uptime maintenance are no longer the customer's responsibility. And there are huge wins to be had from regaining control of your IT landscape. After all, nobody will be as vested as you in the success of your own company. I've really only just scratched the surface of this, but I recommend that you reach out to Intricity and talk with a specialist. We can help you make this cloud transition by designing a logical solution architecture that steps through the journey that the data takes from source systems all the way through to your data consumers in an entirely cloud-based Based approach. We can help you plan out a transition from your managed service reliance into a new model that will push IT back into the innovation role. To learn more about this architecture planning engagement, take a look at this sample priced proposal.